Hello and welcome to finally a voiced video. I found my microphone. Specifically, a tutorial on how to fix the OS not restoring your iPod after replacing a hard disk with an SD card. For this tutorial, I have already mounted the SD card adapter since there are tutorials for that online. This will only show the part that comes after since some people say you need an X adapter or Y SD card, otherwise it won't work. That is not really true, as we will see, but who knows what happens when you buy from AliExpress or the like. Before we start, we will need EasyOS Partition Manager installed, but I'll show you why later. Just download it from the web and install it. First, let's see what happens when we try to simply restore the iPod. Now, I'll just have to press Restore, and I'll see that the process goes by well. But it does not work. Something else needs to be done. Since we'll just get a restore prompt again. Instead, let's fire up EasyOS Partition Manager. Fair warning. At least for me, it took 2 minutes for the program to start. Just hit a small X here and go to the new unallocated partition, which is the iPod's partition. Right click on it. Put drive letter as none, since we don't want it mounted, and the file system as FAT32. Now hit OK, execute, and apply. It's going to quickly format it to FAT32, so we can try to restore again cleanly. Now that it's done, we have to go to Tools and rebuild MBR. The trick to fixing this bug, is what I'll call it, is to hit restore, and after it is done restoring, quickly press rebuild in EasyOS Partition Manager. You have a bit of leeway, leeway, so don't try to do it frame perfect or anything like that, or panic like I did here. Now, when you plug it in, it might crash, your computer, but it's fine, don't worry. After it's back up, you can start loading your library from the Snapple software to your iPod with no issue, as the time lapse will show.
Well, that wasn't too bad if you look at the Windows clock, pretty fast for all this data. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully this won't be the last time I use the microphone. See ya!